Hello everybody, Raven Knight here coming at you with a weekly update video and today we got a lot to talk about because guess what guys, it is the first day of November, October's officially behind us, Halloween is behind us, I hope you had a great time um, on Halloween trick or treating, The but the spooky month is over, so get over your stomach pains from all the candy you ate and fish out the razor blades from your bags, I hope you did anyway, I hope you didn't eat any of those, and let's talk about what's coming to the channel this month, but before we do, quick shill, okay let's get this out of the way, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I'd like to get us to 17,000 subs soon. That'd be awesome. If you'd like to help out the channel, you can uh, go over to the Teespring store and purchase some merch, which I'd really appreciate. It's a great way to donate to the channel and get something out of it. Leave a like in the video below and leave a comment down below. Really helps out and helps me out because I love reading your comments, guys. So, okay, that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so November is here. So, what is coming this month? Okay, so first of all, the long awaited Warden Contest video will be done this month. Please don't ask when. I'm getting sick of getting all those messages saying, when's the Warden Contest video? When's the Warden Contest video? I've decided officially that Warden Contest video will be the first and only contest video I do for fashion just because I love that you guys have so many different designs and ideas, but it is so much to go through and I'm and I really, I, I'm exhausted from looking through the ones that have been sent. So I probably don't want to do this again. It's a little much for me. Um, and plus, no one's really patient with it. Everyone's been kind of saying, when is it happening? When is it happening? When is it happening? Asking me when is it happening doesn't make it happen any faster. It just stresses me out. But expect the Warden Contest video to come out sometime this month. Also, I'm going to try to get two Heroes in History videos done this month. I'm going to try to get two done. You know one is going to be Kensei, because that's the one that won the last poll. We'll see who the other one is. Okay, really looking forward to that. Also, two Fantastical History videos. I'd like to get out some um, Fantastical History videos. One is going to be Minotaurs, because that's the one who won that vote. But the other one, who knows? Might be Harpies, might be Ogres. Who knows? We'll have some fun. And then, finally, the big one. I want to try to get out the Daubeny lore video. A lot of people have been asking me to talk about Daubeny. I did a talk on Apollyon. I've talked about Astria. I've talked about Griffin and Holden, all that fun stuff. Let's talk about the other big-named character, Daubeny. So everyone wants me to talk about Daubeny and make him show himself. So I'm planning to get that video out this month, too. I've put it off for a while, but I plan to. Plus, there are other videos I'm planning on working on in the future um, planning on some death diary entries coming out maybe a writing room i'd like to get that out um stuff like that it, i've got other plans i've got some more things that i want to work on and of course i'm going to try to get a for honor and glory video another chapter of that out next month i'd really really like to do that i'm enjoying working on that story speaking of stories now that we've talked about what November is going to hold, did y'all enjoy my little Halloween gift? It wasn't candy, but it was the first chapter of The Revenant King read by me. I released it as an initial premiere because I kind of wanted to see what people would say in the chat, but not a lot of people came to the chat, so whatever. But I'd like to hear your thoughts anyway. Did you like the story? Did you not like it? What was good? What was bad? Eh, whatever. Did you like it? Uh, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. Um, so, let, let, let's be honest about something for a minute, guys. Um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming up, and I've got a lot of thoughts about Thanksgiving. I love the holiday. I really do. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because you get around with family, you eat good food, it's usually a pretty fun time, and for those of you who are in school, it's a little bit of time off school. But for me as a server at a restaurant that only has two holidays, it's difficult to get time off for Thanksgiving or the times around Thanksgiving, so it's going to be difficult for me to spend any time with family. So it's going to be a very difficult holiday for me, so... Yeah, it's one of those things that I have to deal with. Um, but I am going to try to enjoy Thanksgiving, and I'd like to do a video about Thanksgiving. I'd like to do a video about Native Americans and about some misconceptions about Thanksgiving that I think the media likes to push. There are things about Thanksgiving that I really do want to talk about, but we'll we'll deal with that when we deal with it. Also, another little announcement. People have been asking when the next Lark Lamentation is coming out. Behind me, my brother is actually working tirelessly to get that out. He's actually working on that as we speak. Um, he's getting some footage so that he can make it. A lot of y'all reacted really well to the trailer. Um, it is going to be about Mr. House from Fallout New Vegas. He is talking about why Mr. House is stupid, and y'all are going to love it. I, I know a lot of you are big Mr. House fans, and you're all going, how can you say that? He's one of the best things about New Vegas. No, actually, after listening to my brother explain it and read out his points to me no I have to agree with him he's a pretty dumb character but I hope y'all are excited I'm excited it's gonna be really cool all right so now um, also another big announcement um 
it's been a while, but I'm actually going to be able to stream For Honor on Friday this week. I have Friday night off, so I'm going to try to do a For Honor Friday stream. It's been a while since I actually did it on Friday, so that'll be that'll be kind of fun. Get back to that, right? So look forward to that this Friday. Tune in. It's going to be fun. All right, now let's talk about another thing that's been going on. Hannah and Roz released a video, and I... Um, posted about this video about redesigning characters from a new anime that came out on Crunchyroll called High Guardian Spice. The show came out not too long ago, and it's a Crunchyroll original anime. Let that sink in. And it's... You know, before I say what I think about it, let me just say, their goal in redesigning the characters was because they didn't like the way they were designed in the trailer. So they wanted to redesign them in their own art style, which is a cool video. I still, recomm I still recommend it. Go check out that video if you haven't yet. It, they make some really cool designs. But they asked me to do something with them on that. Hannah and Roz asked me to watch the show with them all the way through. We've been watching it in two episode increments, and we just finished up episode four. And what they want me to do is watch it with them and try to rewrite the show so that we can get rid of the flaws and make it somewhat serviceable. After watching the first four episodes, a third of the way through the show, because it's only 12 episodes long, after watching one third of the show, I can say it's one of the worst cartoons I've ever watched. And I don't say that lightly. I've seen some terrible cartoons and animated shows. I've seen some really really piss poor animated shows this one is really really bad it insults your intelligence it insult it insults story writing in general it has no idea where the plot's going it's trying to force narratives and talking points on the audience without any respect for what those mean or the difficulties that come with them it is just abysmal. It is so bad. And what I think I would forgive all of it if the show just did anything. If the show was just trying to do something. Like give us a plot. Give us a conflict. Or at least give us something on the characters that was somewhat unique. But no, it's just all fluff. It is basically Steven Universe meets She-Ra meets uh, My Little Pony meets all this really fluff, stupid cra it, It's so bad. It is so, so bad. But... The reason I'm telling you about this is because that is something that I've been doing lately. I have been watching this and really, really trying to think of a way to write this show to be better, and I can't do it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually breaking the show down by its down to its roots and building it up from scratch again. I may release later on what I've done different with it to try to fix it. If I do that, I'll announce it, and you can look forward to me ripping apart this show and showing you what I'm doing different. Okay. So, with my little rant out of the way, let's wrap this up with a story sharing time. Yay, story sharing. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about, I, I, I don't know if I talked about this story yet. I might have. If I did, I apologize. If I did not, stay tuned. The first story, the first true narrative-driven story I ever published, Submerged. Submerged is a science fiction story. And how it came to me, true story, I was walking the beach one day, and I looked out at the uh, ocean... And I thought to myself, what if instead of abducting people from outer space, aliens abducted people from underwater? Like, there were actual undersea dwellers who abducted people who went swimming too far out. And then I changed that to, what if aliens who abducted people came from an underwater world, like a water planet? And so that grew and grew and grew until I had a whole story. The story follows a young boy named Joseph who was out um, swimming in the uh, beach until he gets abducted by these aliens. And they have put these mechanical gills on his throat to help him breathe because they live completely underwater. They can't breathe air. They are an aquatic people. Um, and they need his help. But they don't tell what they need his help with. They don't tell how he can help them. It's a very difficult circumstance for him. The first thing they do is they throw him into a prison where he is tortured constantly until he gives over information about some strange fungus called the Kyakshin. And he has no idea what it is, so he gets tortured some more. The queen of this world finds out about it and demands that he be released into her custody, and she treats him far better, where she explains the situation. turns out that this fungus... Um, actually is highly contagious to the citizens of their world. 
and it corrupts their bodies, making them become like feral, wild monsters, killing everything in their path and spreading its plague. In fact, she's had to cut off almost a quarter of the planet that's been overly infected by this fungus, and they keep finding the fungus popping up in very dangerous, very close places. The reason they need his help is because for some reason this fungus, even though it exists on the human world, does not affect humans. Humans are somehow immune to it and they want to know the secret and they think that by asking him about it they can find out. So now Joseph has to find a way to save these people who have been torturing him, mind you, who have been very much mistreating him, so he has to find it in his heart to save these people while figuring out why the queen is being so much nicer to him than everyone else has been. Now, the funny thing is, when I finished the story, I thought, wouldn't it be more interesting if we took this in another direction? Instead of it being your basically your isekai anime protagonist, where he's whisked away to this world, what if it was like a knight? What if you had a crusading knight, or a Teutonic knight, who was abducted for the exact same reason, but this knight is now confronted with alien beings? And I thought, wouldn't that be an interesting twist? So I'm actually planning on remaking the story sometime in the future, where it is written a little differently, where it is a medieval knight who gets abducted and he has to be the one who decides whether or not he saves them very different kind of story there i know but anyway uh let me know what you think about that story idea in the comment section below and thank you guys for watching this update video i hope you guys had a wonderful october looking forward to november and coming closer to the end of 2021 and i will see you in my next video take care